Aswolio returns Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Friday. Doesn't matter what day of the week it is, Papa Swolio is here. Welcome to the Daily Swoll. Welcome to the Daily Swoll. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swoll. Welcome right in your face and a flex and a cheers and a cheers get your coffee out I know it's the weekend and I get really excited about the weekend because I know a lot of you can watch me that can't watch me during the week so welcome willkommen hello everyone to the daily mother swole welcome to the game train welcome to the welcome to earth where we just make sick fucking gains all day long 24 7 360 Ah, this coffee is really hot. I wonder if it's really hot or it's because I'm just baking in like 85 degree temperatures. I don't know. But today is going to be lit like a tip. Uh, this episode is going to be on fire as a twer. Uh, today we're going to get absolutely nuked. You are going to be radiated. I want you right now to take at least five minutes get your cat get your dog get your children get your little ones make a phone call to family and friends and get them all in that bomb shelter because this nuclear fallout is going to destroy everything that you hold dear to you everything that you hold dear is going to be fucking obliterated today we are going to get yoked from our head to our feet because papa swole old school status is gonna boom go balls deep we're going all in today on nutrition we're going into calories we're going to eating habits eating too much or eating too little too much or too little let's intro the show everyone get in the door remember daily swole club hashtag daily swole club make sure you like and share the broadcast and use the hashtag daily swole club to get your one-on-one -on -one, to win a one-on-one -on -one with Papa Swolio fucking enormous the biggest Ooh, ooh. most illustrious bearded podcast in the fucking realm. So welcome everyone to episode two, <clears throat> two, I'm sorry Papa Swolio, brain fart. Welcome everyone to episode 372 of The Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular podcast in the realm because when I flex, you flex, we all flex Ah, biceps. Thank you for joining me live on Facebook every day at 12 noon Eastern time. Thanks for watching on YouTube and listening to the podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes so I can fuck your eyes, fuck your ears, and just assault your brain, your gray and white matter with fitness, knowledge, and destruction. So now is the time to share. Hashtag Daily Swole Club. Get some people in the door as we ramp into it. Eating too much or too little. A lot of you, welcome to the family. A lot of you are new. Yesterday, the day before, uh, you swarmed into premium, so welcome to the family. Uh, thank you everyone for, yesterday you saw me talking about, about the 90 day dash. Everyone that just signed up for that program, it's going to be amazing. You're going to love it, I know it. And I'm gonna be going live and doing some live stuff. Everyone else that's still in the 90 day dash, I'm gonna be going live in that group and doing some videos explaining how, because some of you are coming into that last period of the 90 days. So we're doing some videos and some talking in that program group, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but we talked about nutrition. But remember yesterday we talked about nutrition, but we talked about nutrition in the sense that you have to fix your fitness first. So I kind of slapped you across the face and I told you we would talk about nutrition. But then I said, no, we do nutrition. We fix nutrition. We talk about nutrition by actually talking about fitness, by going after fitness first. It's wrong. It's not the right setup to go after nutrition. You want to fix nutrition but then you don't go after nutrition. And that's true. That is absolutely true. And it, if, you, if you ever got injured, if you ever hurt your ankle or hurt your knee, a lot of times those injuries come from other areas. So it's the same concept, okay? Just because your food might be broken doesn't mean you go after your food to fix it. And I want you to think about this. Just because your food is broken doesn't mean you go after your food, doesn't mean you go after your diet. 
And let's, before we get into the topic today, I wanna to create that foundation again. Just because one thing is broken, doesn't mean you go after that directly to fix it. Sometimes the reason it's broken is for other things. You might go and work on it and change something there, but the foundation is weak and it's gonna crumble right after you go after it. And that's why fitness is first, because fitness is the base. Fitness is the foundation. Fitness is what's gonna help you change your food, change your diet, and change that permanently. So let's say we are actually getting into right now, let's say at this point we're getting into our food. We're actually gonna be looking at our food specifically. You fixed your fitness and now we're looking at food. Let's talk about eating too much or too little. I am a huge, huge, I'm gonna talk about with the gun show, I am a huge supporter and proponent of not counting calories. I think counting calories is arguably the biggest myth the biggest scam, the biggest inconvenience and irrational approach to nutrition literally in history. Like the human body is not meant to count calories. You have natural calculators, it's called your hormones. Your body will automatically tell you when it's hungry and it will tell you when it's full. You do not need to count calories. You do not need to measure your food. You do not need a cup of rice and one fist worth of chicken breast. You don't need that. Your body doesn't need that. Your body will tell you if it needs more. Your body will tell you if it needs less. Then why do you hear so much about it? Well, why, Papa Swolio? Why do we hear so much about scooping things in different color containers and having one fist of chicken and one fist of steak and one fist of broccoli? It's because we have lost touch with that connection. We have lost touch with our body's ability to naturally assess whether we're hungry or whether we're full. And we've lost touch with that because of the shit that we eat, the garbage we consume, the sugar we consume, the artificial sweeteners. We're giving our body fake things and things that are not found in nature in excess and it is destroying our natural process in relaying information to the brain whether we're hungry or whether we're full. We get information, we get information that sugar is available in our system or in our blood and the information gets back to the brain and then that information crashes because we're getting simple sugars and sugars that aren't found in nature naturally in fruit. We're not getting the fiber, we're getting artificial shit and it's tricking our body and it throws everything off. So we're getting a lot of calories in because of fast food, because of processed shit. We get a lot of calories in quickly a lot quicker than we could in nature. If we were hunting and gathering, it would take us a long time to eat 2,000 calories, if we could even find that. It would take us a long time to eat 2,000 calories. But now we're able to sit down and for $4.99 get a 2,000 calorie meal and boom, in 10, 15 minutes have 2,000 calories. What an average person could maintain body weight in an entire fucking day in 10 or 15 minutes in one meal. And that's a problem. And over the course of years, and I'm not talking, I'm not talking days, I'm not talking weeks, I'm not talking months, I'm talking years and years and decades over and over and over again, it completely fucks our system up. It's like an abandoned house. It's like one of those ghost, you know, like when they go like, you know, ghost hunting in these old fucking like, you know, in those old like psych wards and those old prisons, you know, it's all run down, the weeds are growing over, it destroys our fucking body. It destroys our fucking body. Destroys, absolutely destroys our body. So then when we go back to eating healthy, our body has no idea how to relay that information. Our body has no idea how to let the brain know, oh, we're full, let's stop eating this. Your body has no bearing as to what's too much and too little. So then, we create this band-aid. We create this system of counting calories. Because we fucked up our shit so much, we now have to create a system in order to monitor what we put in our bodies. It's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. So we're trying to create a system to fix a system that we broke. And that's why it's still broken because we're not designed to count and to weigh. We're designed to eat and then be full and then not eat anymore. And then, ooh, I'm hungry, let's eat. Ooh, I'm full, let's not eat anymore. That's what it's supposed to be. But it's so easily accessible to get not only food, it's, it's easily accessible to get healthy quality food, but it's just easily accessible to get way too much of it. We're just able and it's convenient to eat way too much. So we eat too much and then 
we throw off our whole system, we throw off our body's ability to count and to measure, and then we have the problem of gaining too much weight. And then we have the problem of trying to figure out how much we eat so we can lose weight. And then it becomes a counting calorie game. The problem is you do not have a calculator stuck to your fucking stomach. Right now, no calculator. No calculator on my stomach. I don't punch things in, I don't punch numbers in. I have no scale on my ball sack where I put a chicken breast and I'm like, hmm, it weighs six ounces. There is nothing on my body that measures food. There's nothing on my body that will tell me, ah, that's a cup or that's 200 calories. Your body should do it automatically. So this becomes a challenge because I encourage you to stop counting. However, your body is so broken, your system is so broken, your way of life is so twisted from the natural that you're not able to do it naturally. You're not able to just eat without counting calories because your body is so ass backwards twisted. The system doesn't work. You've effectively broken the system that you were born with and now it doesn't work and now you have to count. Can you reteach your body? I believe you can, but you have to eliminate all the shit. You have to eliminate the artificial sweeteners. Yes, the aspartame, the sucralose, the mannitol, the, you know, all those artificial you know, flavorings that tell the brain, literally, these guys in white fucking coats in a lab measure things and figure out what hits a taste bud and tells your brain sweet, and they put that chemical in your food. So we're tricking our brain into thinking things taste really like strawberries or like raspberries or like pizza. You ever wonder why you could have a Dorito and it tastes like fucking pizza? You ever wonder how they do that? They sprinkle and they dust fucking chemical powders on it. So when you eat it, your brain thinks, mmm, pizza. It's not only not pizza, it's fucking bad for you. And it fucks your brain up and it fucks your system up. So we're literally just throwing, like for example, Let's say you don't wanna put coffee grounds down at garbage disposal, fine. You're pouring endlessly all day long, you're pouring just shit and garbage, you're gumming up your system. You're gumming up your system, you're putting stuff in it that doesn't belong, and then you want it to work properly. Just because you, just because you, just because you feel like, hmm, I'm gonna eat better now, hmm, I wanna, I wanna lose weight, I wanna look good on my cruise in July, so I'm gonna start eating better. Just because you have the fucking ego to say, hmm, I'm gonna lose weight. You think you have the right just to flip a switch and your body's just gonna respond. You have been fucking it up for 20, 30, 40, or 50 years. You have absolutely no right for your body to work anywhere near functional. And then you wonder, and then you have the audacity, you have the fucking nerve, the audacity and the nerve to wonder why you're not losing weight, to wonder why you're not building muscle, to wonder why you're struggling with your weight, to wonder why you have a little extra fat around your stomach and you can't get rid of. You wonder why, when it's been literally decades of you trashing your body and trashing your system. You have absolutely no wherewithal and no bearing and nothing, no platform to stand on and no pot to piss in to have any right whatsoever to have a physique that you desire. Is it possible? Anything is possible, but you have to understand how much damage and how much fucking corruption you're trying to overthrow. It's like Batman in Gotham City. You're literally trying to overthrow the mob 24 seven and they keep on getting stronger because you're, you're only one man. You're only one man. I can't do this myself, Alfred. I can't save the world. I don't know if I could do this. You're literally fucking Christian Bale. You're literally Christian Bale just trying to fight off everyone. But it's not three movies. It's not three movies. It's like 30. And they never fucking end and they're all the same. And they all end with, ooh, till the next episode. So, you're fighting an uphill battle. When you realize how much damage you've done and you realize on a cellular and on a global level how much damage you've done to your body, it puts into perspective. It puts into perspective how much work it's gonna take and how hard you have to, and, and like your expectations. Remember, remember I think again it was 370, talked about uh, change and expectations and how expectations can give you that false concept of a goal. And you have expectations because you're afraid of the unknown. You have to work your ass off. I mean, it's scary, right? It's scary to try to work your ass off for a result that you don't know if you'll obtain. It's scary to work your fucking ass off to not be sure if you're gonna get the result. I understand that. 
but that's the way it has to happen. You have to work your ass off, and if something's not working as efficiently as you think it should, then you have to change something. Remember, how do you change? Action, not commitment, not discipline, not words, not goals, not hope, not desire, not passion, fucking action, doing shit. So you have to do things. Now, when it comes to eating too much or eating too little, eating to gain weight, you gotta eat more. You gotta eat more than your body will utilize to maintain. To lose weight, you're gonna have to eat less. You know, don't buy into these fucking concepts where, oh, I can eat 5,000 calories and lose weight, if, especially if it's all fat. Um, no, that's not gonna happen. I mean, if you're eating excess energy, it might happen to a point, but there's a point where you're just getting extra money and your body's gonna put it in a savings account in the bank, which is gonna be stored as body fat. Body fat is your body's natural bank account. It's your savings account. It's what your body uses in case of emergency. Now, you don't need that much. You don't need extra padding. What you need is a lean, muscular physique with fat reserves. That's why you don't want to be 5% body fat. You need that backup support in case you can't eat, in case you have to go hunting or there's, you know, let's say uh, a famine and your body can survive. Remember, your body is all about survival. So when you're trying to lose weight or gain, here's what I want you to keep in mind. You don't need to go into a drastic caloric deficit. You don't need to do 1,000 calorie a day diets. That's dangerous, it's fucking ludicrous, it's unnecessary, and it's just stupid. It's stupid. Any doctors that are prescribing 1,000 calorie drastic weight loss programs should lose their fucking license. Should literally just be thrown out on the street with like a Snickers bar and a fucking like coupon for a $5 fucking blow job. I, like from a hooker with razor blades in her mouth. Like literally. I mean, that's if the doctor's male. If it's female, I'll think of something else. I'll think, I'll think of another harsh punishment. But there should never be these extreme weight loss because you're focusing on diet, you're not focusing on the fitness. You have to get people more active and you have to do a gradual, subtle caloric deficit. You do not need less than 1,500 calories or 1,800 calories if you're moving, if you're exercising properly. You need to retrain your body. Remember, you need to retrain your body with what it needs, with what it needs, and you have to be consistent. And you have to work, and it's gonna be the unknown, it's gonna be a lot of hard work with like very little instant gratification. Of course, if you have a lot of weight to lose, you might lose a lot more weight quickly just because you have, let's say, 200 pounds excess of body fat, you're gonna have some more drastic weight loss numbers. But it doesn't mean that's gonna take you any less time to get to where you wanna go as opposed to someone who's 175 and wants to lose 20 pounds. So my point being, if you want to gain weight and if you want to lose weight, you need to make sure that your excess or your deficit is moderate. You're not trying to eat 1,000 calories or 2,000 calories extra. You're gonna, that's called a sloppy bulk. You're gonna put on a lot of extra body fat trying to gain weight. If you're trying to cut down and lose extra body fat, you don't need to do 2,000 calories in a cut. Your body's gonna go into starvation mode. It's gonna clam up and you're not gonna lose weight as quickly. You're gonna get dehydrated and your body is gonna just feel depressed and depleted and you're literally just gonna like hover around where you, um, you know, where you are. Your body is gonna like think, okay, I'm starving, let me hold on to extra calories. So you really only need like a 500, 750 or so caloric deficit. And this is something that you're gonna be doing every day because if you look at the numbers, 3,500 calories is how many calories that's in a pound of fat. So if you approximately cut over the course of a week, 3,000 or 4,000 calories, that being five, six, 700 calories per day, less than what you are utilizing, over the course of a week, you are deficiting yourself about a pound of fat. Now, this is a gradual occurrence over the long term that will generally lose weight consistently. As you lose weight, you cut your calories more and you keep like, you know, like you're fishing, you're like leading your body, you're teasing your body forward. Same thing with gaining weight. You eat in excess of 500 or 1,000 calories. And as you gain a couple pounds here and there, you might increase the calories, but you do it gradually and you monitor yourself to make sure you're not putting on too much body fat, to make sure your energy levels are high. If you go too crazy with excessive caloric intake, you're more likely to put on extra body fat. You're more likely to lose muscle mass if you're cutting too much. You're more likely to put on fat if you're trying to bulk. Doing things in smaller increments and being more patient gives you more control. You're able to tweak calories more readily. You're able to eliminate the excess storage of body fat or the starvation mode that your body will, um, will go into whether you're trying to gain muscle or gain weight or lose weight. You need to be able to have control and you need to retrain your body to really learn how much you need to consume. So keeping it closer to your um, your goal point, like your, your maintenance and going a little bit above or a little bit below will 
in the process help you retrain in order to realize how much food you actually need from just a natural assessing point of view. If you always go to a scale, if you always go to a measuring cup, you are externally, you are externally giving yourself feedback for what you're eating. And understand that everything, all your feedback is right here in your hands. All your feedback is in your mouth. All your feedback is right here in your body. You're not supposed to use silverware. You know why you have hands? To feel if the food is hard or soft and hot and cold. You know why taste is 80% smell? So you could smell something if it's rotten before you put it in your mouth and eat it and get sick and die. These are defense mechanisms. There's a reason why smell is so strong and if it smells rotten, you're like, oh my God, I'm not eating it. Can you imagine if you realized it was rotten after you put it in your mouth and then you had bacteria in your mouth already and then you fucking died? These are defense mechanisms. Your body is meant to touch food with your hands. Your body is meant to smell things, whether it's good or bad. That's why if you don't want to taste something, you plug your nose, because taste is 80% smell. These are ways your body will tell you whether food is cooked. You wouldn't crack your tooth on something that's too hard if you weren't scooping with a fork. If you're touching with your hands, you would know it's hard. You would know it's hot, because you touch it. Ooh, that's hot. I'm not gonna put it in my mouth. You're not supposed to burn your mouth by eating with a fork because you have this extension that doesn't give your body feedback. You don't get neural feedback from the food if you use a fork. You're supposed to wash and use your fucking hands. That's why you have tactile fingers to grab things. It's natural to eat with your hands. I encourage you to try it. These are just natural things that your body does to survive. We are human beings, we are creatures, we are animals, and we're designed to be on this fucking planet and survive. We're designed to monitor our own food intake internally. We're designed to eat what we're hungry for and then get full and stop. These are all processes that we're born with. And what we have to do is go back to that and start paying attention to those natural things because I'm telling you, if you get to a point, if you master these techniques and you become more deeper part of the 90 day dash of premium of this community and you start listening and really applying what I'm telling you and you get to a place where you are not counting calories and you are eating the food that you should be eating and you could just tell, you just know how much you should be eating in excess. Like let's say if you're trying to bulk up your lifting weights or less, if you're trying to tighten up and you go by instinct and by feel, your quality of life is so much better. I don't carry a calculator around with me. I don't use a scale. I fucking eat, I train, I live. And it's amazing. Just the brain space and the freedom I have to just fucking eat and to live. That's what you should be doing. Let's get back to the most important things of our life and let's stop measuring food and wasting our fucking time counting shit. Counting shit because half the time you're counting calories of what they put in the food, which is chemical garbage. So you're following their pattern of keeping yourself sick and keeping yourself in this fucking cage of counting the shitty calories. Remember, if you're eating the right shit, you don't have to count shit. Thank you so much for joining me for episode 372 of the Daily Mother Swole. It is hot to trot out here. Papa Swoleo is lit. Um, let's do Daily Swole Club. Thank you so much for joining. If you're not joining me live, thank you so much for joining me after the fact. Um, I thought you have a little more people in here today because it's Saturday, but I think a lot of you are probably out and enjoying this beautiful day. Beautiful day. Uh, let's do a little Daily Swole Club action. Remember, Daily Swole Club, you need to make sure that you message Papa Swolio. So if you're the winner and you miss out, you lose the chicken dinner. So make sure that you um, jump in and message me on my Facebook page if you hear your name that you are the winner. Melissa Porter, Melissa Porter. Everyone float some hearts and float some thumbs. Melissa Porter, congratulations. You are today's Daily Swole Club winner. You will get your one-on-one -on -one with the bearded legend, the freak, the absolute manimal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we'll just FaceTime and just grunt the whole time. Maybe you don't have any questions or maybe we can dig into your nutrition, to your training program and talk shop a little bit. So Melissa Porter, congratulations. Everyone say congratulations. Congratulations, Melissa. Melissa, float some thumbs, float some hearts. Let's do more hearts. I think thumbs are great. I think thumbs are great, but um, I think thumbs are great, but I think we need more hearts. I think we need more love in this community. So, Melissa Porter, congratulations. Yay! Hey, Melissa. Make sure you message me right here on my Facebook page, Melissa. And everyone else, I have a big announcement to make. Um, uh, and, and I've contacted a couple of you already. Stay tuned um, in the next probably few minutes to an hour on here on the main Facebook page, uh, the new series, the new series, 
the We Are Swole Normous Spotlight Member Series. I'm um, going to be doing a little expo on uh, several members over the course of the next few weeks and months and moving forward so you guys get to know the community a little bit better. You get to know uh, the people and who make up this amazing fucking brand and this amazing movement a little bit better. So stay tuned for um, the first We Are Swarmous Spotlight Member video that's going to be posted in the next, um, within the next hour. So that's very exciting. Um, got some great things coming up this week for Swolga. Those of you that are my live yoga uh, program mobility group, that is going to be fucking off the chain. Major announcements for Swolga and more stuff coming in premium as always. So again, amazing shit, fucking off the chain. Papa Swolio, don't stop because you don't stop and we don't fucking stop. No one stops. This train doesn't stop. We're just getting started. Love you all. Thank you for joining me for episode 372 of the Daily Mother Swole, the most muscular podcast in the realm. Obvi. Because when I flex, you flex. We all flex our biceps. Every day, 12 noon Eastern time, right here on Facebook. Watch it on YouTube. Listen to the podcast, SoundCloud, and iTunes. I will see you tomorrow for 373. Peace, McGee's. Deuce, Magoose. Manana at 12 noon Eastern time for Sunday, Funday. Later.